So we are starting tonight with One Dark Night uh, from 1982. Uh, like Chucky said, it has sort of like a, a telekinetic dude in it. It's not necessarily a classic. I don't know that many people who have, you know, gone out of the way to see it, but it's an interesting movie. In the movie, this one chick wants to join a club called the Sisters. It's sort of like a, a click sorority ish type thing um but to join this group she has to go through an initiation and th- this initiation is staying the night in a mausoleum unfortunately well that might just be a boring night in the mausoleum earlier that day a sort of a telekinetic guy who can just uh screw stuff up um was in toward there so he is not necessarily a status you might hope. And then there's some other shenanigans with these um, sisters trying to play a prank on the girl being initiated. So it's, I don't know, it has sort of that, being an 80s movie, has a sort of 80s feel that you like to see in a movie. And it's, I don't know, it's not necessarily a special movie, but before I get, I guess, too deep into it, as at least as deep as you can get, it's not a particularly m- thoughtful movie, but what were your thoughts on this one? It's a movie that I've known about for at least it's been on my radar for a couple of years now, um, and I did I did kind of watch some of it uh, a while back, and I didn't finish it not because I wasn't enjoying it. I don't know if I was just tired or whatever, but anywho, yeah, I finished it um, this past week. I want to like it, but I kind of feel like there's not a whole lot that actually happens in the movie. You go, I mean, there, there's a little bit at the start, there's some okay setup throughout, but, I mean, the real meat in the movie doesn't really happen until, like, the last 20 minutes. Yeah, I, I, it's, like, basically an hour-long setup, um, which is um, understandably disappointing to some people. Yeah. And, I mean, you get treated to things like Adam West's beautiful <laughs> acting. <laughs> I must say, he's not that great of an actor. <laughs> I, I mean, his character isn't really that important in this movie anyway. No. So, it's pretty much just a big name to maybe pull some people in. Yeah. Meg Tilly in the movie. She's kind of cute at that younger age, but I think her sister's definitely surpassed her <laughs> in terms of uh, attractiveness now. Wait, wait who, who's her sister? I, I don't even know. Jennifer Tilly? Oh, I hadn't... Okay, that's interesting. Um, I think Meg Tilly's the older sister. Yeah. I, I've she She's not really in many movies these days. I think the last thing I saw her in was Anti-Birth, hmm. which, um, yeah, I, I, I don't really remember too much of that movie. Uh, but yeah, this one does have a bit of a good early 80s feel to it. There's some practical effects at the end that are kind of nice to see, but... Overall, it's yeah, it's it's just a movie that isn't all that entertaining, at least until those last twenty minutes. And as much as I want to enjoy the movie, uh, I can't see myself wanting to sit through another hour of that <laughs> just to see the final twenty minutes. With I mean, the final twenty minutes isn't stellar. It's it's an entertaining eighties type ending horror movie, but at least something happens. Yeah, things are happening, but everything before that is not all that interesting. No, yeah, I will beg to differ just a bit. I actually, I, I, I enjoy this movie. I've seen it once before. I agree that it takes it quite a bit for things to really get going, but at the same time, I, I sort of enjoyed, you know, all this. Um, I guess sad up. You know, I thought most of the characters were somewhat interesting, aside from the boyfriend who was. Just like extraordinarily boring, but no, I thought I thought the um the, the sisters those like, characters were interesting. They had some different personalities. One of them chews in a toothbrush for some reason. Yeah. Um, wow. so. one, one of them looks like Don Cheadle in a wig. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting uh, description. <laughs> Unfortunately, um. No, I'm not going to be able to watch this movie movie without seeing that. So. Yeah. Well, as soon as I had that thought in my head, it never left. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, so I don't know. I think it's sort of an 80s way, even though nothing spectacularly happens or even not much happens at all. It's, a, it's interesting, you know. 
or you have a Meg Tilly's character sort of walking through a mas- empty mausoleum, you know, sort of atmospheric, sort of not necessarily creepy, but you know, it's it's enjoyable, and you have you know other things going on, and eventually, like in the final twenty minutes, things start coming together. Um, I think probably one of the I don't know worst parts of the movie was the whole thing with the um telekinetic guy's daughter, you know, finding out about him, you know, through the um tape recorder, which is just a bit I don't know. I I didn't care so much for that addition. If they had just focused on the um you know the sisters and make Tilly's character, I probably would have been okay with it. But I don't think we needed like I don't know, fifteen twenty minutes of Adam Rust and his wife figuring out <laughs> about the father. I just didn't do much for me. As much as I enjoy Adam Rust. <laughs> Actually, yeah. on a related note, I heard that the reason Adam Rust was in this movie was because I think it was the director felt bad for him because nobody was hiring him because of, you know, his long standing role in the Batman series. Uh most people stayed away from him. So he felt bad for Adam Rust and Hired him in for this role, so I I think it's mildly interesting and I can see it because I don't know much about Adam West's acting history, but I don't know if he's been in like a plethora of things past Batman. That's pretty much all he's known for. I believe he has. Uh, um, I, I'm pretty sure he's been in tons of things. Yeah, but I mean, how many of his roles are known by anybody? Yeah, I mean, he's pretty much known for the early Batman stuff, uh, I think primarily. He did do a much better Batman than Michael Keaton, but... Um, hey, no <laughs> way. Anyhow, about this movie. I, I enjoyed a decent amount of it, despite the fact that not that much happened. The, I think it was sort of cool when the guy was going on his like, uh, telekinetic rampage. You know, other things were flying around, things got, you know... Was was taken out of walls, you know, those sort of interesting visual effects. Um, and like you mentioned at the end, there's some, I think, some pretty decent spatial effects. I don't know if the zombie type things were necessarily amazing, but it was so pretty cool vibe. So I don't know. I I feel like I enjoy this more than I suspect many people would, mainly because it has a fun vibe. And what more do you need besides action? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll just say that this if you're a fan of eighties movies and you've sort of overlooked this one, I might recommend looking into it. Um it's not an amazing movie, but if you know, you're into eighties movies, I'm sure that you have some type of you know, high tolerance for not so great movies. I enjoyed this, I enjoyed it the first time I saw it and I enjoyed it this time. I just think it's an amazing movie. But it's a movie I can see myself watching again and again, so I'll probably give this like a seven point five, round it down to a um seven out of ten, which is an average rating for me. So like I said, it's not amazing, but I enjoy it enough, and I don't think it's tip, you know necessarily a bad movie. Yeah, I just think I was uh, let down by I mean it, it, telekinetic it, vampire. <laughs> he is a vampire, right? Is that what they said? I don't know what they saw. I just know that um, it, I did, that's not really the vibe I got, but it, it makes sense, you know. I mean, it, it, it doesn't have really a vampire feel like, to the movie, it can, but... Like, suck your life force out. So, you know, it's yeah. vampiric, you know. But when you think about telekinetic vampire, you're thinking, like, awesome shit happening all over <laughs> the screen. And, I mean, the ending, you get to see some enjoyable action there towards the end but this is the type of movie where some of that ending scene tack it on to a compilation of movie scenes and i'll watch it but watching this whole thing again probably not something that i'm going to be interested in doing at least not anytime soon i I think i'll give the movie a five out of ten i really wanted to enjoy it and that i mean telekinetic vampires i mean come on (laughs) <laughs> it's like it's like Fright Night and Carrie, and I didn't get either of the two really. <laughs> so, like the closest you got. What well, have you even seen, Phantasm? I've seen Phantasm, okay. yeah, but 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 unfortunately, I'm not a huge fan of Phantasm either. Okay, yeah, there's pretty much nothing in it for you. But I mean, fan, I I do enjoy Phantasm at least more than this movie. 